guys, so I've just I've not long finished work. Today I am gonna do a video. So a while ago, quite a while ago now, I did a video called Talking About Love. And I thought I would do a part two because I thought I feel like I've got more experience now and I've been in love. And I feel like my opinions have changed a bit. Or I feel like when I did that video, I watched it back and I feel like I was in a very different point in my life. I was at just quite a different point in my life in general. I just wanted to give like a fresh point of view now, like, because I think I've got a lot of different opinions on it or, um, I don't know, it was very like innocent in my first one, I did. I looked very different as well. I can't believe I've changed that much. I know that like, I suppose when you're in your 20s, you go kind of like, through a second puberty apparently. There's like a second puberty you go through. So I feel like I still probably looked maybe more like a teenager. I also, I'm also I've also just like lost weight since I looked different as well. Whatever. But I suppose I was just happier in general in that video, but. Anyways, I thought I'd do another video on that. I have like no energy to move whatsoever. But I did write down some notes or like some things that I talked about in the first one that I thought I'd comment on again. Just to, for the comparison, I guess. Not everyone have the same idea or believe the same things, but you know. I don't know. I'm gonna get into my PJs first off. Just get comfortable. So I'm gonna do that. Oh, here we go. That's better. Oh, love. Love, love, love. First one I've got here is Doesn't everyone want love? Yeah, I think they do. In every aspect, in whatever aspect you can imagine love to be, I think everybody does in fact want it. I just think people are, I don't know, I don't know. In any aspect you can want love, you're probably gonna want it. Love from your family, love from friends, love for yourself, love from a partner, someone you're romantically interested in, in any, in any, in any aspect someone would, I think everybody, it's like a bit of an instinct for people, I think. I think it would be for any creature. It's just an emotion, isn't it? It's just an emotion, and it's a part of it. Part of life. Things I love. I did take, say a few things that I just love, and I don't know, I like when, the, I love when the sun's out, and like, how it's shining on my bed, and on my pennies. I think that's nice. Um, I, love this ball that my this is like a ball my sister left here but it's really like bouncy it's like bounces perfectly off this wall like it's really good for it oh Fine. maybe it'd better if i bounced it off this wall oh i might just stop doing that actually i was doing really well a second ago christ I love a really good meal. I love being asleep. I love television. I said it last time, I love TV, I love telly. And I do. I know some changed. A lot of the stuff I said I liked and like I loved and they I still agree on. They kind of marriage. Marriage is fucking complicated. It's very common and everyone does it and I mean yeah, I wanna get married. I've always wanted to get married. Well, I don't know, I never really thought about it when I was a kid, but I'd like to get married, yeah, but most people these days don't want to get married. A lot of people don't anyway. Some people are over there, but I find anytime I've talked to men about it, a lot of men seem to have the same point of view on it, whereas they say it's a waste of time. They think it's a waste of time and a waste of money and there's no point in it and like they just will just be with the person but 
I feel like when you say that, especially to someone you're with, it's kind of like just saying, I don't want to commit to you. So it's like, no, I, but if like having someone that you're interested in say that, it's kind of like just saying, it's like, you just don't want to commit, you don't want me. I feel like if you wanted someone, surely you'd want to marry them. But I, I understand why they think that, I understand it. But I feel like they've got the wrong point of view of it. Got the wrong view on marriage. Like when I when I say I want to get married, I don't even care about the legal aspect of it. I wouldn't even want to legally get married. I don't give a shit about that. It's more just the day. It's like people think it's a waste of time or a waste of money. But like, well, I mean, you'd still spend money on somebody's birthday, wouldn't you? You still celebrate your birthday. I'd say it's kind of like that. It's just a different kind of celebration. It's just a celebration. In the same way you would celebrate any other significant holiday of some kind. Like, humans do all sorts of things like that. It's just a celebration, and except a celebration of your love and shows your commitment to each other. It's just a very romantic gesture and things, and it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. But, I mean, if you want to get married to a man, your luck is low. <laughs> your luck is very low. And the thing is, I find a lot of men still get engaged, but they just do it. They don't seem to be all that fussed on it. It's like they're happy to, but it's like, I don't even know if they're doing it because they're excited about getting married on the marriage. I don't even get why they're doing it sometimes. Is it just tradition? They wouldn't. Even people, when they're with someone they like, doesn't stop them from cheating or talking to other people or just having a wondering eye. When you see how men who have been married for years behave when their wives aren't around, what the fuck is stopping yours from doing that? You chose to do someone. What the hell is stopping them from doing that as well? Nothing. They wouldn't tell you. You wouldn't know. Of course you wouldn't know if that was yours. Then they're not good. Because they lie. You know what? That's the biggest issue with today or with life and society and everything in general. People fucking lie all the time. And I'm telling you now, I cannot handle it. I am a very real person. I'll be, I'll, I'll always be honest. Like, I will be honest. If I lie about something, it's stupid. Like, it's a silly little not going to hurt anybody kind of lie. I don't lie. I'm... A very honest person because lying doesn't make any logical sense to me because it always gets you in more trouble in the long run it always because the lie will never stick it'll always get found out and it always just gets you in more trouble in the long run and the wildest part about it is that that is something you learn from children tv shows and movies that you have that you will watch growing up and it doesn't make any fucking sense that people just don't learn that lesson. How do you not learn that lesson? And they will still continue to lie and get in deep shit in the long run for it. And then they still do it again. Why are you lying? It just gets you in trouble. And you know what? It just hurts everyone. Because not only are you hurting yourself, you're hurting the person you're lying to and the other people that it may affect. It hurts everybody. Everyone. There is no winner in that scenario. There is never a winner in that scenario. If you want to do the right thing, stop lying to people. Just don't, because everyone lies. Whether you're in a relationship, whether you're, whether it's friends and family, whether it's your co-workers, everybody. And they will just lie to your face and it's impossible to not have trust issues today. Impossible. It's an impossible task. Idea of, the idea of love in media, it's very forced, you know? You're brought up to believe in it, but like you're brought up to want it and to crave it. Like when you're a kid, it's in, like, even growing up, it's in every TV show, it's in every, every movie, you know, someone's always gonna end up with somebody, there's always gonna be some kind of love interest, always, always. So it's shoved down your throat since day one to end up with somebody and to fall in love and be with someone. But I'm not entirely sure love is real. A lot of people think, is it even real? I don't know if it is real. I'd like to believe that it is. I know the emotion that you feel is real, but I said it in the last one. Like science says, you know, it's just a bunch of chemicals in your brain and with time it'll fade. But that's why people say it's so important to end up with someone that you actually like as a person because that big 
lust and passion that you feel at the beginning won't entirely last in the long run because when you're old you're going to want to make sure that you're with someone that you like as a person but i also think when you spend that much time together by the time you're old you're gonna like have a lot in common anyway because you would have spent so much time together no i mean i met someone today though and he was talking about how we uh at work and he's been married for a while and he wishes he hadn't he said don't get married i was like damn <laughs> like a lot of people aren't quite like that and it's sad dating today though is really difficult like in dating has gotten a lot worse 100 percent. in 2024 trying to manage a relationship is so I feel as though everyone is too traumatized from past relationships and every time they get into a new one they kind of bring that trauma with them and if anything if they haven't healed from it you're just going to gain their own trauma like they'll just you'll just get that trauma yourself and you'll just end up leaving it with trust issues and just hurt and people struggle so much with dating like people are falling in love or like getting led on and then there's like a lot of like love bombing these days that's a new term where people get love bombed a lot just the lies the constant lies every every single relationship i can even think of people are lying to each other they lie to each other they always lie to each other they're always lying to each other why why do people always lie it's just lie 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 all the time and both parties doesn't matter who or what you are people are lying all the fucking time but there's no fucking sense to it there's no sense to it but they still do it and it ruins relationships and ruins trust issues and it's like i just think if you're not gonna fucking make something work with someone don't get with her don't mess them about don't lead them on from my experience i think now that i look a lot more conventionally attractive so i follow a lot of conventional beauty standards and because of that i'm just perceived as very pretty um but in reality beauty is an opinion it can be whatever you want it to be whatever you believe to be beautiful is beautiful but i just follow the conventional beauty standards set by society and i think a lot of people want to be that kind of pretty but from my experience it ain't shit sure i like the way i look i like myself i think i'm pretty and that's nice what isn't nice is that one i'd say a lot of women not everyone not a lot but some women will often automatically not like you because you remind them of their own insecurities and they kind of push that upon you and i can't blame them for it but it's it makes you feel like shit it's not a good feeling i just feel awful guilty like i've done something wrong but i haven't but you'll just like they'll just not like you because of that because you make them feel bad about themselves but it's like that's their own insecurity that's not your problem that's not my problem i just don't have to care about that but it happens sometimes and men um would uh um they don't i don't believe i'm perceived as a real person a lot of the time by men i'm not saying all men because obviously i know it's not i've i know plenty of good men you know decent people but for the average man especially older ones like the way they look at you the way they talk to you it's belittling a lot of the time they don't see it of course they don't see it and even if you can if you confront them about it they'd be like what the fuck are you talking about because they're almost all insanely thick most just never grow up so they don't see it they don't learn anything yeah i don't believe i get any respect i don't believe people respect me i don't believe i have a lot of respect i think they just see a pretty little girl who don't know shit and there's just no respect i think they just see me as a piece of meat they'd love to destroy if they had the opportunity and then just drop you and then just drop you i do feel like men a lot of men not all of course not all but a lot of men do just lie 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 to get you in bed and it is sad that it's so common and it just makes you feel like a fucking object it feels horrible it's not a good feeling it's one of the reasons i don't really get involved with people anymore i think i've lost faith in all of it 
it's too fucked and it's too risky because sure you could find something real but then everyone's too deceiving because there are good people out there to get with but the bad there's too many bad people and the bad people disguise themselves as the good people so you can't tell the difference and then you're risking your whole sanity your whole innocence you lose all of it if it goes wrong you just lose it all you just have to deal with the pure pain of it all after and i don't think the agony of heartbreak is worth the risk of finding love because it maybe if it, you were more likely to find love and more likely to find someone that's willing to work on it but i think at this day and age you've got no chance you've got no fucking chance the statistics for relationships as well are really really bad like 90 percent of relationships that begin before you're 30 end 50 percent isn't it like 50 percent of divorce like marriages end in divorce 50 percent like So it's pretty, pretty hopeless to find like romantic love this day and age. But it's so forced upon you, like you need it. And I feel like people forget the real love that's in their lives from their family, you know? Like I, I love my siblings and I think, like I, I just think, I try to think more about them and like having a laugh with them or jokes about them. Or if I watch some of my old vlogs on my channel, and I just see like all my family goofing around and stuff and they make me laugh and I'm like, yeah, see, that's, that's real. That's something you can rely on. That's a kind of love that you should be, ideally be able to rely on. That's the kind of love you can rely on. And friends, you know, the kind of love you get from friends is more real and something you are more likely to rely on again. Whereas I think romantic love isn't reliable because people are too deceiving they're not real anymore or they're too traumatized and messed up from past relationships that they don't know what they're doing and they end up messing with them and then you have to it scares me to ever like someone like that again i never want to like anybody like that again because the power they have the second you like someone like that the power they have over you oh my god Holy shit, to give someone that kind of power over you is insane. All just because you fell for them. And when you fall for someone for the first time, for the very first time, you don't know the dangers of it. So you're just so willing to fall in love. You're so willing to fall for it because it feels so fucking good. It feels so good. It, like... From my experience, it just felt like pure euphoria to be with them. And it was amazing. And I would have done anything. I would have done anything. I would have been willing to put the work in, but I don't think they ever were. And it's just kind of a bummer. We lack a lot of love in many aspects nowadays. I find I lack a lot of love for myself. I feel a while ago, maybe a year ago, a year or two ago, maybe like two, I had a lot, I just think a while ago, I probably had a lot more love for myself, but I think I've lost a lot, but I've been really depressed, realistically, I've just been really depressed for a while, I've been depressed up and down over the years anyway, like I've been, I've, I've dealt with depression for years, but it's been really bad for a while now. But so that probably like I'll probably have a lot more of a negative view on these things because of it. But I think I do lack a lot of love for myself, and I think a lot of people do as well. And I think I have lot I've lost so much love for myself because I just I feel like I've let myself down in every aspect. I've let myself down so much, and I I'm so disappointed. Like even that person I was previously involved with. I'm not over them at all like at all and it's been a while now and I'm still not and I just I feel like pathetic over it awful like just like I always thought higher of myself or like I I wouldn't let myself get hurt like that or I would I wouldn't do the stupid things I did like getting on a low and then sending them a paragraph and 
you, you feel like a tit. And you just want to talk to him, you just want to talk to him. I still do, but it's just going to be a slippery slope, isn't it? Because of all the mess. I think I'm too messed up. I think I'm too mentally ill to be involved with someone. Honestly, I do, because I just don't think it's fair on anyone to have to put up with me when I'm like that. Because sometimes I can be pretty neutral, but sometimes I can wake up and it feels like a hundred tons of pure despair hanging on me. And it's so heavy. It's so heavy. And you just gotta crack on. You just gotta go to work and act like it's fine. As if I haven't just cried in the fucking toilet on the train. Like it's awful. I hate it. Everything's just so hard now. So hard. Life is not easy and it's not even fun. I don't even know how to enjoy anything anymore. I've like forgotten how to be happy. I can't even get excited for things anymore, do you know? Like I, I struggle to just, just simply get excited for something. I find that so hard. I just don't, because I, I feel like I've numbed myself out to a point where I just can't really feel anything. Because the negative feelings are so bad and they're so overwhelming, but it doesn't always stop them, they still come through, they still destroy you. I don't want to, I don't want to live like this at all. I hate living like this. I hate living in a world where I know I'm not going to be able to find love because of how unreliable it is. And people keep telling you, oh no, you will, oh, there's somebody else, oh, you've got, shut up. The advice people give you, I know they're trying to be helpful and they mean well, but it's useless. It's useless. It's just always useless advice, I find. Like saying, oh, you've got everything going for you. I don't. What do you mean? Like, I, I don't know. I don't feel like I've got, I'm just so fucked. I just feel so fucked. Because well, I've, got, I've got all these disabilities. I've got the, the disabilities I have, I feel limit me in so many aspects and the simple fact that like i can get overwhelmed by things that wouldn't even affect a normal person is unreal especially considering the like a lot of people in the world don't even believe that it's that hard because they can't fucking see it they can't see it so they don't even think it's that bad it's like people don't see how bad it gets because i never let people see how bad it gets but like i can have meltdowns where i am fully like hitting myself or throwing things and just screaming or you just collapse on the floor and cry just cry and cry until you literally can't anymore and then you and then if i have a if i have a breakdown like that i'll go numb for like the next week for the next few weeks months fuck knows how long it'll go on for why do we feel the need to be with someone why do we feel need well i think from the simple fact that we're raised and taught to end up with someone not to mention when you get old and you retire if you don't settle down with someone you're gonna get insanely lonely and i find some people don't think about it like they kind of just don't think about it but i feel like when you deep it it's like you really should try and settle down with someone simply because of how unbelievable lonely it will get because at the end of the day we are animals and we are a social species and so if you spend the majority of your time alone then you're not hanging out with people or you're not getting that interaction or you're not even simply being held like it's you're gonna get insanely lonely and depressed like, it is a side effect. If you're lonely, you are going to get depressed. It will happen. And that happens to a lot of old people. There's, like, documentaries on it. People who never settle down, like, really lonely old people. And it's sad as fuck. It's so sad. But... That's, like, what happens. It, what happen People don't... Some people don't think about it. Some people do, and maybe they just panically settle down with anybody because of that. They just settle down with anyone. But I think if... But because I've lost faith in being able to find actual love, I think what I'd like to do maybe is just 
get married to like a best friend of some kind, like one of your best mates. Just get married to one of your best mates and who also never settles down and just get married to each other and spend each other's lives together just so you're not alone, you know? And you don't have to get married to them, obviously, but I just think it'd be fun to marry your best mate, and it Just marry your best mate. I'd love to be able to go just like, hey, that's my wife. I think that's funny. That's what I want to do. <laughs> And I don't know, I think we need human contact. I think we need uh, being held, we need to be held. It gives you a type of feeling that it's like, it's just, it's so calming and it feels so good. The thing is with, with relationships as well is that when you get with someone, they release a lot of dopamine in your brain. And so when you stop seeing them, you lose that source of dopamine. And so your body is like, losing its shit, it's what makes the breakup so hard a lot of the time because yeah, like your body needs that dopamine and it's not getting it anymore and so ideally what you're supposed to do after a breakup is try and find another source to get dopamine from so whether that be a new TV show or something, whatever, releases that rush of dopamine like you're just going to find something that does that because when you lose that person you lose that source of dopamine and it's kind of like trying to get over an addiction what does love mean to you? I mean, what does love mean to you? What, what, what does it mean to you? For me? I don't know. I'll tell you something I'm scared of though. I'm scared that, because I know a lot of humans, you forget pain. Time, you forget pain. And I'm worried that with time, I'll forget the pain and I'll maybe start liking somebody at some point and I'll get all stupid again. Because when you're in, when you're falling with someone, oh my God, do you get stupid. It's unbelievable how stupid you get. You don't see any of the red flags because you got those roll kind of glasses on and all them flags just look like flags. You don't see any of the bad because you don't want to see the bad. That's the thing, you don't want to fucking see it because you just want them. You see the beauty in them, the per like all the good things and and the bad things, and you would, I find that with my, with, with, like, from my past, like, I, I, I accepted them flaws and all. I kind of saw a lot of their flaws over time, and I chose to accept it because I know I'm not perfect, and I was willing to work on what we had. And I still, I still crave it. I still kind of wish I could work on it, but, like, I also know it's often not a good thing. I would know how I would do things differently because I think I know where I went wrong and what I'd like to do differently. But you don't know what the other person's like. You haven't spoken to them. You don't talk to them. I don't talk to that person anymore. I don't know if they... I don't know anything. I can't tell if anything was real anymore. I've had months to think about it over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. But nothing could explain anything. I'm not, I'm not, I don't know. I think they did like me. Sometimes I don't know. Sometimes I think, did you just, did you just want a shot at a pretty girl? And then, but you've never, I don't think they ever had any intention on really settling down with me or even trying. I don't know if they ever had the intention of actually having a relationship with me and I'm scared that they really didn't the whole time they just wanted to have fun with me and they never had any intention on trying I don't know I don't know I've thought about it over and over again and I'd love I think I'd like to I think a part of me still wants to talk to them to try and heal from it because I feel like you're never going to fully heal on your own. The only way to heal something like that is with that other person because that's the where the problem is, is with that person. You'd have to talk and, I don't know, apologise to each other or just figure it out and then maybe go your separate ways and maybe then it'll be easier to get over them or you can risk trying again but a lot of people don't do that because a lot of the time people say that if they did it once they'll do it again and I think if I was to go back and it happened again I would 
believe fucking hate myself wholeheartedly I never forgive myself I think because at that point you can't even blame them it's your fault for going back but I also think it'd be rude to I also think it's not fair if like, like if they can look at you and they fully like I'm like they know wholeheartedly that they fucked up and they could talk about it and they just want to make it up want to make up for it I don't know, there's too many lies today. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I'm terrified of it. I'm terrified of that pain. God, I'm so scared of it. It's the most gut-wrenching thing I've ever experienced. And the th it doesn't help that I've already had so, like, a lot of, like, men poor mental health, like, basically runs in my family. And to experience heartbreak, it kind of just, it brings back all of that depression. And if I was like a normal person, maybe I'd be able to work on relationships and heal from them and try again. Like, but I don't think I can. Because I don't think I could survive a second heartbreak. I don't think I'm built for it. I don't think I'm built for that kind of struggle. I don't really like existing full stop i hate the fact that it exists i don't think i ever should have been born realistically i think my existence is a mistake i just every time i like negatively impact somebody's day or life i just i feel as though i never should have been born anyway you never should have met me you never should have had to go through that you never should have experienced it i never should have been such an inconvenience to all of these people i feel like a gigantic inconvenience a lot of the time like i'm just a fucking inconvenience I I hate everything and I don't want to but I feel like the opposite of love love is pain it's so much pain and you can't have you can't have it I don't know if I was to recommend to anybody focus on yourself try to do the right thing for yourself try to live your own life try to find happiness within yourself and within your life and try to focus on what you want to do with your life but this day and age it's kind of hard to do that considering capitalism is kind of falling apart around us it's not gonna last we know it's not gonna last it doesn't work and climate change is getting worse and worse and nobody is doing anything about it I think the people that are trying to do things about it obviously just get mugged off by media because nobody listens, nobody wants to listen. And I think they're still trying to fight for like a life in, in hopes that we can prevent climate change. I don't think we're gonna stop it. If I think we're all fucked from it. I think we are, we are fucked 100%. I don't think there's any point in fighting it. I just think try to live your life, try to be happy, but whatever. I don't know. I don't want to be a part of anything though anymore. I don't like experiencing, learning lessons, growing. Because I find a lot of this is just about learning lessons. You learn and you grow and you come, oh, you're, you, you just go through experiences and you learn from them and then it helps you become the person you're supposed to be and it helps you lead to doing all of this other great stuff that you could end up doing in your life. But I have gotten to a point where I don't want to do any of that. I don't want to experience. I don't want to learn. I don't want to grow. I don't want anything anymore. I want nothing. I don't think I ever should have been born. I don't think I should exist. I don't think I want to do anything anymore. I don't want to be a part of this. And I don't want to heal because I know that you can get better. You're going to work on it. You're just going to, I don't want to. I've already done that and I've still ended up here and I'm not going to get fixed. I'm still going to be a massive, gigantic pain in the ass for everyone and myself for the rest of my life. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I feel awful. I feel like the good little girl that once existed has been obliterated and removed. And I think that amazing person that I possibly could be has no chance of surviving in this world. It's impossible. It's impossible.
You can't be a good person in this world. It's just done for. You're done for. I just don't want to do anything anymore. I don't know. Love, we need it. We need it more than anything. We need it so fucking bad, but I think it's a lost fucking cause. It's a lost cause. Sorry about my cat. One to one. But yeah, we, I don't know. The world's a messed up place and you have to be one mean, cynical bitch in order to live in it. But that doesn't mean, this doesn't mean that I don't want love. Of course I still crave it. Even that person that hurt me, I still crave them so fucking bad and I hate myself for it. But that's the thing, it makes you hate yourself for it. Because you're like, what's wrong with you? Everything. Everything. And even though that person hurt me, I feel like they shouldn't even have to put up with me. Because I'm such a fucking headache. I, I can't even put up with me. Why the hell should I expect anybody else to? I cannot stand myself anymore. Obviously that's just me. Everyone has their own different point of views and life can be whatever you perceive it to be. So if you perceive it to be perfect, then I suppose it can be perfect. But I'm sure that perception is probably gonna get robbed from you. I find it unbelievable that some people go their entire lives without ever getting depressed. And I just think, why is it that I feel, s how is it that I can feel this awful that some people go their whole lives never feeling it? How? Whatever. I'm gonna end this video here. I'm sure I bummed you all out because that's something I'm really good at now. I'm really, really good at bumming people out and bringing them down. I'm so good at it. I used to be good at making people laugh or keeping them on their toes or talking about random stuff, but now all I do is Bring everybody down. So, yeah, I don't know. Farewell.